Hello, humans. As it is the last time I will be doing a pop and cooking, at least for this series of videos, um, I thought it would be fitting to wear the shirt that I wore the first time I made this. So that's why I wore this one. Same one that I wore on the last video. This is the last pop and cooking I will be making. The waffle pop and cooking. I don't know how to feel about this one. I don't know if it'll be good or bad. Because I know that the ice cream and I think the donut one were actually pretty good. So I would put this in that caliber range. Oh, quick disclaimer. Sorry to hear bird noises in the background. I just like to make bird noises. It's my last time making a pop and cook and I'm not gonna meticulously cut it. Oh, if you wanna see the other pop and cookings I've made, they're up here in the, or up, up there in the playlist. You can go watch all of those if you want to see me mess up at making things. Okay, I gotta cut all the things out. I feel like the plastic is thinner on this one. Like, it's easier to cut while you bend. All right. Add a full triangle cup of water to the yellow tray. Or to the, to the clover tray. Why do four leaf clovers just not exist? I thought that I found one a little while ago with one of my friends. Cause it did actually look like it had four leaves, but I was tricked by the plant. It tricked another person too. Like it, it literally morphed into a three leaf clover after like 10 minutes of it existing. There's two of these. And I don't know if I was supposed to have two of these. They're the same thing. I mean, it doesn't have the same orientation as each other. This is just weird. What? I'm confused. I'll just make one of them. Oh, it smells like vanilla. A triangle cup. Ooh. Plop. I completely missed. I was trying to do a cool tricks shot and then I completely missed the bowl. So now I don't know if I have enough water or not. We'll see after I stir if there's enough water. I hate using spoons with like mixing things because of this exact reason. It gets stuck inside the spoon and then I can't, I have to use my fingers to get it out. You know the mac and cheese cups where like you just heat them in the microwave with water? Um, those cheese packets, they stick to the inside of the spoon. So you can't get all the cheese out. Oh, it's jumping out. I'm trying to mix all of it in but I don't know if it'll work. I'm too lazy to get a plate. So this is just how it's gonna be. I think I'm supposed to put these both in, in here. So I will do that. If I mess this up, it's my fault because it didn't tell me to do this, but I feel it's implied. I'm going to scoop the water. Hopefully enough water, there we go and plop. Now I mix. I'm gonna use this spoon to put more water in gradually. It smells actually really good, like a baking yellow cake. Here's the dough we put in here. I have made a waffle. Now to make a second one. This is fun. Okay, now I'm gonna make the chocolate dough. This thing tells me nothing about the two of these and the one of this. It smells like chocolate cake batter, kind of. I don't think that one spilled. Why do like, baking treats taste completely different when they're like raw instead of baked. I don't think they sell like raw like cake batter that you can eat. I know that they sell like raw cookie dough that 
like you're supposed to be able to eat without worrying about the salmonella aspect or like the flour thing that can happen. I don't remember what that is. What? Chomp. Oh, Radio Rebel. I actually watched that movie unironically when I was a little kid. My dad worked in radio, so I was like, oh my gosh, he'll like this, definitely. That explains how I got here. I'm going to make the red thing. It's like this powder, and I go chop diddy chop. I put it where? In the music note tray, in this one. And I'm guessing triangle cup, donk, bonk. Heck yeah. Stop spilling everywhere. You don't want that. I use this spoon to put it into all the places. This is actually very sad. That wasn't, but it's actually very satisfying to put these into the mold because it just like shapes automatically. Look! That is awesome! Like, this looks pretty watery already. I don't know why we need more. But I mean, you do whatever you want. I don't know why it's using two. It looked fine before, but now it's like too runny. It has like the consistency of snot. Blueberry sauce time. We open. I have a feeling I will not like this blueberry sauce. This feels very odd. And it feels way, way too runny. Time to decorate our cool little guys. I'm going to take these out of the package. It's like, it looks more like a tomato. It looks a lot more like a tomato than like a strawberry or something. I don't know if that's what they're going for. I just realized that I, when I was recording, I did the opposite take of what I was wanting to. So when I was moving the camera, it was recording. But when I wanted to show you something that I was doing, it didn't show. So while the camera was off, I did this. I made the sauce and I put it on the waffles. So, you know, I, would, I won't show you one by one. This will just be the reveal of the waffles because, you know, um, I'm a little dumb sometimes, do some mistakes, but here we are. Da 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 da. So we got our chocolate one with some blueberry sauce because I didn't, I wanted to try it by itself and also there. And then this one, I just put everything on it because I have that one to try with it bland or by itself. And I took out one of the strawberry tomato things. They look more like tomatoes to me than strawberries, but you know, I think they're going for strawberries. Now I'm going to try a little tomato first. That actually tastes, you know, um, those popular gummies, like those ones. It tastes exactly like the strawberry version of that one. I'm going to put this on part of the chocolate one and part of the vanilla one now because I realized I didn't put this on anything. I'm going to actually try it by itself first, so. That literally tastes like if I mixed shampoo with my bath water. You know the smell of like lime um, shampoo or stuff like that? It's that, but in a whipped cream form. Oh gosh, I really don't want to put this on anything else. Ew! I'm not gonna say what that looks like, but oh my gosh. Ew, I touched it. It has the consistency of 
like melting whipped cream. And it has the same texture in your mouth, but with like, if it was fizzy, but not like carbonation, I guess like a mild carbonation fizz that doesn't hurt, but like it's bubbly. And this lime thing is driving me insane. I do not like it. Okay, trying the chocolate, just the chocolate waffle by itself. I think it's going to taste like a donut um, one. The worst thing about these pop and cookins is the texture. And that's what got me on this one. The texture with this one is just really off and possibly with the mixture of other things. It'll make me gag. I'll try it with the lime stuff now. Please have me live through this. It's disgusting, especially with the chocolate. Okay, I already told you what the, the lime thing tastes like. Mix that with brownie that has the texture of a sponge. Okay, we'll move on to the blueberry sauce and the, the waffle. Honestly, that one wasn't as bad, but the chocolate mixed with it is just not good. Now the chocolate mixed with the strawberry thing. This is so disappointing. It tastes fine, like the, the chocolate waffle by itself, just the texture makes it bad, and uh, everything that comes with this set that should not belong on that waffle. Now, I'm going to enjoy this fresh, safe from harm waffle that I made. Ew, I touched it again. You know those sugar cookies that they give out for free at like grocery stores or they used to give out for free? It tastes exactly like that, but with a pretty bad texture. Honestly, the vanilla one tastes better than the chocolate. This is the mixture of every flavor. I really hope I don't throw up from this, but there's no guarantee, so. <sighs> oh gosh. The texture that mixed between this, whatever Satan spawn this is, and the, the blueberry flavor, and literally everything was wrong about what I just did. That was the worst. Like, that's the worst thing I know. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um... I'm going to do a tier list of all the pop and cookins soon. So if you want to tune in for that and see which pop and cookin I put at the top or in in the pop and cookin standards, which ones are good and which ones are terrible in every way possible. So um yeah, hope you like this video. Tune in for the next one if you want to see that, and um, I'll see you later. That waffle mixed with everything tasted horrible. Imagine watered down grape jelly mixed with shampoo doused in bath water with the texture of a wet sugar cookie. That's not okay.